Hi, this is Bee from Sorcery Soap. Hi, this is Bee from Sorcery Soap, and today I'm making poppies. A couple different kinds of poppies. These here for my Wizard of Oz soap. And I'm working out a couple different ways to do it. So here's a couple that I've made. Whoop, the light's pretty garbage, so there we go. Anyway, um, I thought I'd show you what my process is, my thinking process with all this. So here's one. I don't care for the center. It gives the impression of it. Um, but that's how I made it on the back side, and so I'll cut, cut that off on the back side and stick it into the soap and made little ones like this. So I'll show you how I did this. Let's cut the back of this off so you can see. So that's the inside of it and then it'll stick into the soap. So the poppies that I like have the yellow centers with the, the little bit of black on the outside like this. These are more complicated ones. But I thought I'd put, this one I just used as an example. I, I won't put this on the soap because it's just too big. But I wanted to feel the poppies around the Wizard of Oz. And I was thinking I'd put a bunch of them in there. But let me show you what I'm doing here. So I rolled out some red soap dough. I use this little cutter. Um, so that all the little sides have to be trimmed up, and like not trimmed up, but tucked in. And so here. Oh, first. So here's the other new thing I got: this leaf texturizer wasn't sure how it would work, but it seems to work pretty well for soap dough. And all it does is give a little texture to the leaf or to the, the petals. This one turned out as a, I made a cane. So this is, let me show you, this is the cane I made here so I can cut the centers off. And then I was being pretty futzy with it um, as far as making little details and stuff. I'll show you a couple different ways to make these. Don't know that it's going to matter that much. And well, the other thing that, that sort of troubles me about these is that poppy leaves are delicate and they come out like this. Generally, what I do is tip them down like this so that that all the um, petals tuck into the soap. So that's not gonna work because it doesn't give the impression. That, so it, what will happen is if I put them all in like this to come out like a poppy leaf does, which these aren't very texturized, like exactly, a little pinch. Then they'll cut, they'll break off when I cut them. That's just experience. I just know that they'll do that. So, but I figured if I just showed you what I was doing, then it might give you some ideas for flowers yourself. So before I make anything, I usually study what I'm making and try to look into it as deeply as possible for my own um, working definition of what the thing is that, see now I just took all the texture off the leaves, so that's not going to work. Um, to try and get a working definition of what the, what the thing is that I'm making so that I have it in my mind a, a little bit. So what I've seen is, and you know, I don't know if you've seen a poppy before, but poppy leaves are very paper-like and and delicate and they sort of so the idea of a poppy is that there's the red I'm going to paint some of this too in the inner, inner side but that they're red and that um, they have centers that have black and yellow or sort of a yellow orange I chose yellow because it's a little bit brighter 
and that they open up. See, the edge of this leaf isn't exactly what a poppy looks like. The, it's a, I'll find a picture and put it in. It's a little bit more papery and textured, like irregular rips. And so when I'm thinking about creating and designing a soap, I'm, I'm not thinking about being exact. What I'm thinking about, oh, hang on. Anyway, what I'm thinking about is um, not thinking about being exact ex necessarily, but just giving the impression of it in um, of the story. Like the tops that are going to go on, the embellishments that are going to go on, the top have no faces. I'll put a picture in here for you. And so because I felt that the faces are going to limit that whole story so I didn't do that because I wanted to keep moving forward okay. sometimes all the tools I have sometimes just don't cut it which is crazy I have a lot of little detailed tools. Never thought I'd be that person that has all these little tools. But cuz I always like to make things, you know, just not have to buy the thing of it. Okay, so that needs those need to overlap a bit. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving forward with this and figure this out. I think the caned little pieces on here are the nicest. I'm not going to detail them very much anymore. Just I, I like that it just happened to turn out with a heart in the center. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Okay. Because if I have a field of poppies, you're not going to say, oh, those look like daisies, you know. I shouldn't care, but I do. Okay, so there we go. And and I know that there's going to be, a, I'm going to find a better way to do this, but I just wanted you to see the process that I'm going through right now. And just show you what I'm up to this Sunday. So, so if you have any thoughts on this, I'm open to hearing them. I kind of like that one the best, I think. So imagine if they were laid all out like this, and I'm going to have the embellishments in between these. So I don't even need to have, I wanted to have a field of them. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep making these so I can have extra, and then maybe I can. what I can do is overlap them like this so that even if a petal breaks off, I can re-adhere it with some water. Um, lately, I've seen a lot of people asking things like, I'm not really sure the the in the question itself is asking how do you stick soap to each other and how do you stick embellishments on. Well, soap this is not exactly wet, but it's not cured, which means it's not completely dry. And there's still water in it. And the interesting thing is is that I use this example quite often is that if you put two bars of uh, two slivers of soap in the shower and you let them dry stuck to each other, try and get those apart. You, it's almost impossible to get them apart because they just they they seal together. So when you're sticking embellishments, an embellishment is something that goes on the outside. An embed is embedded inside the soap. So the embed you don't have to worry about because that's not going to come out. But the of the cold process soap, but an embellishment on top of it. You can see lots of my examples of taking a piece of soap, a bar, and then putting flowers on the outside or putting other um, embellishments on the outside. And you know, I just adhere it with water. I used to use another process um, that I outlined in the book, which is a really good tool. I outlined it in, I think, every single book I have. Um, it's a really good tool. I'm not going to say it here because 
it's kind of a nice surprise when you get the book and I don't really want to ruin the surprise for other people but um, it's if there isn't enough surface space of wet soap say you want to take a hard uh, embellishment and put it on another hard bar of soap this this process will help to do that and if there just isn't enough surface space your embellishments will come off because there isn't enough to adhere to um, especially if it sticks out and you rub across it it'll break off so that's the whole idea with designing a soap is you want things to be as flush as possible so that when you use the bar of soap everything just stays on top of it and everything stays together as you're rubbing with it so the things that stick out you can guarantee those are going to break off anyway i hope this helped and if you have any thoughts about the poppies i'm open to hearing that and that's all i have okay thanks for watching bye